back to Coloring Through the Bible. My name is Keegan Harkins, and today I want to talk to you about persistence. I was actually reading through the book of Matthew, and I came to Matthew chapter 7. And verses 7 and 8 is where Jesus is talking, and he says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you for everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds, and to him who knocks, the door will be opened. Now, if that's not persistence, I don't know what is. Sometimes we think that we ask once and, and that's it. And if we have to, to ask more than once, then the answer is no. Sometimes God tells us we need to knock and keep knocking. We need to ask. We need to seek. I mean, think of that word seek. When you play hide and seek as a kid, you don't give up after two seconds if you only found one kid. You keep looking. There's joy in the discovery. And I think that that's something that maybe we, we lose as we get older. Do we find joy in the discovery that we find in God's word? It's a treasure trove of information, of blessings, of promises, of hearing God's voice. And a lot of times we don't seek in it. We have like a few key verses, a few books of the Bible that maybe we'll read. We'll read a devotional book or, or kind of stick to those couple main books that we like. But there are so many things that we can find, sometimes in the strangest places, sometimes in places that we've read a million times. But we need to keep seeking. We need to keep digging. We need to keep asking. We need to have persistence when it comes to our faith. We can't just call it good that we sat in church on Sunday. We can't just say, I prayed yesterday or last week, and that's good enough. We shouldn't be satisfied with just praying when we sit down at the dinner table. It should be an attitude of seeking the Lord, of knocking on heaven's door, of asking God doesn't tire of listening to us. We're his children. He wants to hear about our day. You know, um, we homeschooled our children for a number of years and then just a month ago decided to put them back in public school because our oldest son is getting ready to get into high school and we wanted him to, you know, kind of make friends and get in the groove of things before he was a freshman. So we started him with this last semester of eighth grade and... I miss them when they're in school because I'm used to having them here around me. I'm used to, to hearing them tell me their stories all the time and being a part of their life all the time. And when they come home from school, I, I want to hear all about it. I'm excited about the, the little things that, that maybe they think are dorky. And I'm just like, oh, tell me about it. Tell me how was lunch. Tell me how was gym. How was recess? Whatever. I just, I want to know everything. And that's kind of how I envision God. He's up in heaven and yes, he knows. I, you know, he knows everything that we go through, but he wants to hear from us. He wants to have that relationship with us. He wants us to knock. He wants us to tell him everything. So I want to really encourage you today to practice persistence in your faith. If there is something that you're, you're praying about, don't give up. Keep praying Keep knocking on heaven's door. Keep seeking God's will. Don't give up. Don't let good enough be good enough. Because until we get to heaven, we'll never have good enough. We have, there's always more to learn. There's always more lessons that will, will grow us, mature us, challenge us, strengthen us, and encourage us. So let's not give up. Let's continue to seek and ask and knock because God is right there wanting to be found, wanting to have a relationship with us, wanting to reveal through his Holy Spirit, reveal the truth found in his word. So I hope you've been encouraged today. I hope you'll take out your Bible and do a little bit of seeking and get on your knees and do a little bit of asking. Do a lot of asking because God wants to hear from you. He's not going to get tired of it. I hope you've been encouraged. Have a truly, truly blessed day. And I will see you next time.